The silver market is interesting. It's such a volatile precious metal that significant spot price dips come along every few months. Lately, what's been perceived as a problem in the bullion market is that when spot price dips, premiums seem to rise by nearly the same amount. Here's the reason for this. What's up you guys, it's Ocean here. I have some eye candy of a different flavor for today's video. These are vintage one ounce silver bars and they're just so unique. They're all different designs and I have three reasons to share on why the out the door price on physical silver doesn't seem to be dropping much despite huge dips in spot price. And not only that, but I'm giving out some serious silverweight today. If you're a frequent viewer of the channel, you know what I'm talking about. That's gonna come at the end. My first reason for sticky bullion prices is dealer inventory. If dealers make a huge purchase just before a large dip, that motivates them to hold on to their silver and or sell at a high price, even though spot price has dropped. Now, I know a lot of dealers just look at replacement costs, but I also know several dealers, professional dealers, who wouldn't sell something for less than what they paid. So my first point is pretty straightforward, but stackers will walk into a coin shop and reference the dip, and many dealers are unable or unwilling to do anything about that. There are waves in the silver market, right? And sometimes it makes sense for a dealer to lose a couple bucks to free up some money to buy something else that they can do well on. So they're each gonna do their own thing. My next reason for high bullion prices in a low spot price environment is sustained stacking. The stackers, people who buy physical silver, just keep coming back for more. I know I'm included in this group. This point probably speaks more to the online bullion dealers. If their premiums are high, but business is still booming, why would they lower their prices? Precious metals are definitely still under most people's radar, but there are so many new stackers popping up right now that if they're all going out and making these beginner mistakes, just like we all have, that's going to sustain business at higher prices. But hey, at least they're converting fiat dollars into real money. Check this piece out. <laughs> Just a thought. And the third point. Oh, and by the way, let me know by leaving me a comment in this video if you think any of these are true, which one is the most true, or if you think any of these points I'm making is completely wrong. My point number three once in a while, it doesn't happen too often anymore, but once in a while, I'll see a stacking video. Just, I think the point being trying to be the voice of reason by saying the silver market isn't manipulated. I mean, anything can be debated, but silver market manipulation has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt several times. At this point, it's a matter of fact. And the third point kind of ties back into my first two reasons. How are silver dealers, brick and mortar stores, and online businesses supposed to operate when the product they sell is manipulated? Silver prices can change. They can definitely change very quickly. So reasonably, silver dealers need to operate with an appropriate sense of caution. The flip side of that is silver price reaching its true value. This is a prospect I'm very bullish on and I don't believe silver will be manipulated forever. I'm looking at all these silver bars and I thought of a bonus reason for high premiums. Sometimes the silver itself is premium. Sometimes it's collectible like these bars we're looking at. Rare pieces can cost more because demand outweighs supply, just like in any other market. But sometimes with silver, maybe because it's a precious metal, 
we're comparing the spot market to the physical and we're seeing a disconnect. And I think that's natural, but it's usually because a round or a coin or a bar is collectible and that's why it's at a higher price. There's always the option to stack really generic 10 ounce or kilo bars. And if you're just 100% focused on silver weight, those larger bars come at a better price point for sure. I don't see anything wrong with that. With larger generic bars, it's not what I stack, but depending on your goals and what you like, I can definitely see the appeal. More of this element we love, more silver for less money, might be your goal. So dealer prices on their inventory, sustained stacking, and the true value of silver suppressed through manipulation are my three reasons for high silver prices despite a low spot price. And the bonus reason was that certain silver is just collectible. One thing that cuts through all the noise, a factor that ties all of this together, I, I think with an outcome that has a greater probability of actually realizing a lower physical silver price is a sustained low spot price environment. Now, this is not what I think is going to happen, but if it did happen, if spot price drops and it stays down for a while, like several weeks, several months, then premiums might start to normalize. But this would still need to happen at a spot price that incentivizes miners to continue working. So there could be this make-believe balance, but really silver is just undervalued. It's a great asset to hold, in my opinion. I'm going to keep loading up on silver. Out the door prices may not be as low as we'd like them to be, but this dip we're in is still a dip. The prices have gone down a little bit, so it is a good opportunity to pick up more for the stack and help your dollar cost average. And let me know in the comments what you've been purchasing lately. I'm always interested in that. And let's get to the giveaway of this big 10,000 subscriber bar. I made this to celebrate a big milestone here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and choose a winner. Here is my YouTube page. And this, yeah, this is the right video. So I'll copy and paste the link. Grab that. Copy and paste. Filter duplicate users. This is a really nice bar, guys. Someone's going to be super happy. We'll get the comments and start. Spoken Silver Stacker. Wow. And we have his comment here. I want to verify that it is qualifying. And yeah, he has a hashtag in the comment. He says, man, when you held up that bar... I notice the details in that bar even more. I like how it has the circle channel round in it at the top, but what really got me was the 999 in the waves. <laughs> yeah. Great job, Silver Oceans. Definitely a cool piece. Stack wide as the ocean. Spokane, congratulations. Thank you so much, my friend. And then I held a sticker design creation contest. I reached out to both winners. And by the way, here is the bar for the sticker design contest. Nice little trophy. I blackened the edges on this one. I think it looks kind of cool. I like how this one came out. The winner of this bar refused the prize. He told me to auction the bar to help pay for stickers and shipping. So what an incredible community we have here on YouTube. He wants to remain anonymous, 
So I am going to get the stickers printed. This is the winning design up here. Pretty cool that he made a stacking community sticker rather than a Silver Ocean sticker. I really like that. So I'll get these made. I have my own sticker design that I'm working on for later this year. So I think I'll do a big order and mail both stickers out to everyone with Christmas cards because it's a couple hundred dollars just in shipping costs. So if you think I may not have your mailing address, email me if you're interested in the stickers and the Christmas cards. And you guys are awesome. I love this community here on YouTube. Take care, guys. Stack white as the ocean.